Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, you said action? Oh, damn, bro, say it again, bro. I ain't know you said action. That's funny right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah, man, I go by, uh, by Vonta. You know what I mean? I'm a comedian coming out of Baltimore. Um, you know what I mean? I've been doing this comedy thing for about about eight years now, so, you know, it's good. How did I start? All right, so boom, it was in high school, right? I was in 12th grade, and I'm thinking like, man, I gotta do something, right? I always been in the comedy, always been in the film, always been into that, right? So I asked for a camera on Christmas. I got a camera. It was like $80, but I took that camera everywhere. It was a little camera too, so I was able to like put it in my pocket, you know, things like that. I took it to the malls, I took it to the clubs, the parties, and all that. In high school, you know, I was bringing the camera everywhere I go, and I was making vlogs. Come to find out, you know, people thought the vlogs was funny. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to make some funny vlogs. And they started on YouTube. So, yeah, it's lit. The first celebrity to reach out to me, it was crazy, too. Like, nobody would ever expect it. Like, it was Chief Keef. <laughs> Chief Keef was the first person to, and it was on Vine. I had made something on Vine, and it was crazy. I was like, yo, it was wild. I was working at Walmart, and I was, like, shaking and shit. But, you know. Uh, that was crazy, man. I didn't think that somebody like Chief Keith would find my content, you know, funny at that time. But, and I was, a, I'm still a big fan of something. Yeah, you know, so. Who's the first comedian? Like, like, you know, who's your favorite comedian? My favorite comedian of all time, Martin. Um, I like idolize Martin. Like Martin, just bringing that whole style of comedy back. I feel like that's the lane I'm trying to go for. You know what I mean? So like the acting and the, like we need TV shows like that. So, I'm gonna try to make it happen. For sure. Yeah, I definitely. I think that when I was watching Martin, I was thinking like, dang, I can really do that. Like, I know I can do that. His funny punchlines, all that. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I know the girl. Oh yeah, see, I know the females really well. They be like, how do you know that? Because like, I've been on some, I've been on dates, you know, and I be seeing what girls do when I'm in the car with them, and I be like, yo, you really do that? Hmm. A lot of girls do that. They be like, I don't know. I do it. You know, I'm like, all right, well, shit, if you do it, <laughs> that's what happens. And I make a video about it, and then it just, you know, yeah, it's crazy. Like that's like right now? I think the women, definitely. I think the women have uh, supported me just tremendously. I feel like that's, like, my biggest fan base that I'm tapping into. So that's why I got the Von A bonus out, so that way the girl, you know, the women can just tap into it. So, for sure. Like the video, the, the, I think the biggest video that, that changed it all was like more so I made the one about how hood chicks be outside with they, uh, with they brothers, right? So they was on the block and I had my homeboys out there too. So you feel it was really funny how the whole thing would happen. But you know what I mean? I had made a video about that and then I was like, you know, Bizzle getting better, Bizzle getting better. And then everybody started saying it. And then the comments went crazy. A couple people just reposted it and it was just, I probably got about 30,000 followers in like two days off that video. So. Sure. Next is about to. Next thing I'm about to do is I'm about to start my own TV show, man. I want my own TV show. I want my own, you know, own creative space where I can have my own type of real life skit. Like let's make them longer, right? Let's make them longer. Even if we can't get it on TV, we can start it with YouTube, right? We can start with YouTube, make these skits longer, make them more in detail, make it more funny. Cast for some characters, you know what I mean? I really want to be the next, I want to say like a Martin. Like, he's definitely up there, and I really want to follow that. So, I think I, that's my, that is my next goal, for sure. And stand-up comedy, right? So, I've been doing my stand-up comedy thing now, and I want to take that more serious, right? So, we're trying to, like, get this tour together. But due to goddamn COVID, everything is just so crazy. I don't know what we're going to do. But, so, stand-up comedy and film, those are my two main hard hats that I put on, so, for sure. That's a great question. That's a great question. Actually, COVID was beneficial for social media, you know, people on social media, because everybody's on the phone now. You know, we seeing a large increase of views due to Netflix, any, everything, Netflix, everything. People are watching right now, right? The bad news is you can't interact with your fans, so you really can't see them, right? They're just like, you know, they're out there, you know it, but you can't see them because of COVID. So it's like, it's still a gift and a curse, you get what I'm saying? But, you know, I feel like when this thing is finally over, so, <laughs> but yeah, man, for sure, man. What's one thing that you want your fans to know about you that you probably don't see like, 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 in the videos? 
Yo, I feel like people don't know that, yo, I have a funny side, but I'm a Libra, right? Shout out to my Libra. So I'll be having a serious side where I'll be really like, yo, we can make this, yo, we can do this, yo. We can do that. I'm very spontaneous. I like to do things. That I like to, you know, I like to do everything that everybody else like to do, you know what I mean? So, spontaneous, for sure. Um, so far, my talents took me to a lot of different cities. So far, I can't, I can't even lie, because I've been to Boston. I've been to Chicago, I've been to Cleveland, I've been to Detroit. Detroit, Cleveland, they, they lit. Been to Philly, uh, you know. Um, I've been to uh, Pensacola, Florida. I've been to, um, you know, everybody go to Miami, but I had a show in Miami, for real. So I've been to LA too, so you know what I mean? I've been just trying to travel, you know. I mean, like, which one showed show the most love, especially for me, like, you being from Baltimore? Like, for me being from Baltimore, the city that showed the most love is Two of them, for sure. I gotta say Philly. Philly be going hard. And Cleveland. Cleveland been going hard too. So them two cities for sure. But I, you know, I fuck with everybody, so. <laughs> everybody. But, um, like some of the celebrities that I would like to work with though. Um, probably, you know, I like uh, what Drewski's doing. I like what Desi's doing. I like what, um, whatever um, comedians is out there. That girl J. Cole, I like what she's doing. Um, um, that's that's probably about it though. Them type, them three would definitely. As far as your brand, like you know, let us know a little more. I don't know about your brand, but do you do the comedy shows, do the bodies and all that? You know, so yeah, like yeah. So like the brand itself is just you know, it's the Vontae brand. Like that's what I stamp my name on everything. You know, I want my name to be able to let y'all paint a picture before you even see what I look like, right? So I got the Von Nay bonnets. Everything got the Von in it, and you know, so that's the brand, really, man. You know, I got the bonnets. I got the uh, I got the Bizzle do rags, um, you know. I'm about to actually make phone cases, right? Because you know when I'm in the videos, you know the phone case would be hard, you know. It's a little slick stuff like that, but for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, all right. So when I make a skit, I already got the skit to my phone. I already got it, right? So I just be like, all right, let's make this today. Some skits are so funny, I gotta make it right then. I can't even write it down for later. I gotta make this now. But what I'll do is I'll call my homegirl, right? Cause you know, me, when I put the bonnet on, I, I can only do that in front of my homegirl. I can't do that shit. Like, I can't be doing that, right? I be seeing people walk past the car when I make it with the bonnet, take the, take the bonnet off and shit. Like, oh, this Baltimore City, hold up, put this on. So I call her up, we make the video. And like, you know, she she does it really professional. She don't be laughing or nothing. Like she be like this, cause she be but she don't laugh and bust out laughing or anything like that. So shout out to her for sure. Them videos be funny. They be funny. Like what was your like, you know, friends and family's first reaction to see you? Like, you like, take Yeah. It was crazy. Like my friends and family, everybody were like, Yeah, hey, people at my job watch you. And and you know, my friends would be like, Yeah, yo, my grandmother watch you. I'm like, dang, grandma? Yeah, my grandma just bought a bonnet. I said, damn, that's crazy. They sent me the picture of the grandmother with the bonnet. I'd be like, yo, this is hard. So, you know, everybody was happy for sure. For sure. Yeah, first video that you took off, like, did you see yourself, you know, like, being where you are right now? Yeah, man, I actually did. I said, yo, you know what? I know I'm funny. I really feel like I'm funny. Like, I, I watch my stuff and I'd be laughing, like, yo, I'm crazy. You know what I mean? So, I seen it. I said, yo, know, as long as I can just get my fair shot, right? If I can get my fair shot in this, it's a wrap. The talent is. Right, right, right. Well, I think I just have a knack for comedy, right? So if I make a video, I don't gotta ask nobody if it's funny. This right here is funny, yo. Y'all gotta watch this show, cause that's how I was when I was in school. Like, look, I'm about to really make the class bust out laughing. Watch this, watch this joke, baby. Watch this, shorty. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? All the girls is on. <laughs> All right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm saying, you know, like, what, you know, like, what you think makes you stand out from like, the other, you know, like, comedians? I think what makes me stand out from a lot of other comedians is, like, um, it's like you get, like, a real-life movie. Like, it's like, bro, this guy's really driving in a car going, like, 50 miles per hour, and there's two of them in there. How is he doing this? You know, the video is really messing with people's mind. Like, how is he doing that? What is he doing? So I think that make it stand out. And then I just keep it hood with it though. Like I keep the comedy hood, you know what I'm saying? Like these are hood jokes that people 
of that community, we all know how it is growing up black. These are black comedy, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that sh is just crazy. I'm not just going crazy off corny, like, nah, this, sh <laughs> this shit is relatable. <laughs> My first booking was crazy. My first booking, I was um, I was 19 years old. I had never flew on a plane, nothing like that, right? So I'm on the phone with my people. It's like, how do I do this? How do I do that? Man, I went out to Pensacola, Florida. Man, listen, they asked me, they said, so would you like to stay on the beach or would you want to stay downtown? I said, the beach. <laughs> downtown, only 10 minutes away from the grave. <laughs> I'm thinking like, no, I want to stay on the beach. I stayed on the beach, man. They fed me good, everything. I said, man, this, I can get used to this. I get used to that. Wait, nah. Mm -hmm. Um, my next step is to um, I want to do more for the community, right? Um, I want to do more for the community, man. I want to bring things together. I want to have gatherings. I want to have you know small, nice comedy events throughout the city, right? Um, I want to be able to just do that, man. I really want to be able to touch the people. I really do, man. I really want people to be able to see me. I want to see them. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as COVID's over, I'm calling these comedy clubs. You know what I mean? I'm doing what I got to do to, you know, see the people for sure. Speaking about the community, so like, do you see yourself like, like, of course you know you won't get bigger, so you won't have to eventually like, you know, bottom, maybe you can't keep yourself in place, but you know, but you see yourself always being able to get back to bottom, or like? Like, what, do I see myself like always giving back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, like the city, but you know, like, of course you get bigger, you know, you have to Yeah, bottom, yeah. Like, no, for real, because I feel like, you know, people get bigger and kind of lose, like, you know what I mean? Like you see somebody come from there and then they get bigger and now they talk different, they acting totally just wild. I don't see myself doing that though. Like I, I think I honestly made it this far and the city support me so hard because it, even in the videos, it's still Baltimore. You get what I'm saying? So it's still Baltimore lingo, it's still Baltimore streets, it's still Baltimore characters. You get what I'm saying? I'm not like going out of town. These motherfuckers your cousin, nigga. Like you see your cousin in my video? Like come on man, stop playing. So it's like I kept it like that. So. Even when I go crazy, living in L.A. or something like that, I got to keep it Baltimore, right? So, for sure. Even though I'm a Steelers fan, I'm a Steelers fan because technically, oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, I, I was born in Pittsburgh, but I grew up in Baltimore. That's what it little, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people out there be like, oh, he's from Pittsburgh. Yeah, I am from Pittsburgh. I was born in Pittsburgh. You know, we can't help where we're born, y'all. You get what I'm saying? But I've been in Baltimore Speaking all my life. Like, how's your support system, you know, as far as like, close friends and family? Like, like a sports? Yeah, like, you know, like, like your support system. Oh my support! Oh yeah, the support system's tough. It's tough. It's good. It's um, you know, my friends, family, everybody, they support me. Um, you know what I mean? Even, even, even people like it's be crazy. Like one time I'm driving, police officer pulled me over. He seen it was me. He said, "Bill, you better slow down." He ain't even give me no ticket, man. That was a cool state trooper that day, and I don't even. But that state trooper, we gotta give him a pass. That was for the community. He did that for the. He did that for the culture. All right, Bizzle. <laughs> no, for real. So I see the support though. And I get it, so that's that's what's up. Man, listen, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. I'm getting better. I'm getting more wiser. I'm getting more. I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting better with this. Nah, for real. I feel like you know, I'm taking it way more serious now. Way more serious than I used to. So, taking it serious. You know, fuck COVID. <laughs> well, y'all mad, y'all. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs>